Everyone's gone. Yeah, we don't have anything, anywhere, or anyone to go home to. You're right. But I'm sure someday they'll come back, don't you think? Hmm, I wonder. Everyone has something irreplaceable they're holding on to. But this time, our opponent... Hmm. But that's all right, if no one comes back. As long as we're together, with you by my side, I'll never give up no matter how bad it gets. Tifa. No matter how close we are now, we, we were fall, far apart before. But when we were in the live stream, surrounded by all those screams of anguish, I thought I heard your voice. You probably don't remember this. But deep in my heart, I heard you calling my name. Or at least I thought I did. I see. I think I've heard it too. Then it was Tifa's voice. Cloud, do you think the stars can hear us? Do you think they see how hard we're fighting for them? I don't know, but... Whether they can or can or not, we still have to do what we can and believe in ourselves. I'll find the answer someday, as long as I keep trying. Yes, that's right. We've got a big battle tomorrow. We'd better get some sleep. Um, I guess you're right. It's almost gone. Huh? Morning, Tifa. It's almost done. Hmm. Good morning, Cloud. Just a little longer. A little bit longer. This day will never come again. So let me have this moment. better go. But I still... It'll be alright, Tifa. You said so yourself yesterday. At least we don't have to go on alone. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's go. This airship is too big for just the two of us. Yeah, it's a little lonely without everyone. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I'll make a big enough ruckus for everyone. Besides, I'm the pilot. No more flying around casually like before. We won't have time to feel lonely. Huh? It's moving. Barrett, Sid. Uh, oh, is that okay with you? Red. 
Why didn't you tell me? But you know, Sid. Hey, Red. If you butt in now, you never know what they'll say later. Are you listening? Vincent. Why such a puzzled look? Don't you want me to come? No, it's just that you're always so cool at what is happening. I thought you didn't care. Cool? Hmm. I guess that's just how I am. Sorry. Well, looky here. The Shinra managers come back. Uh, excuse me, but... I wanted to come with the main group, but I couldn't get away. So some people in Midgar took me in. I know I have a stuffed animal body, but I'll work really hard. I guess that's everyone. No, Yuffie's missing. She ain't gonna show up. At least this time she didn't steal our materia. Thank God for that. How could you say that? After I came this far with you, even with my air sickness. I didn't go through all that just to have you guys have the best parts all to yourselves. Welcome back, Yuffie. Gee, Cloud, it's so nice of you to say that. You sick or something? Well, whatever. I'm gonna be in my reserved seat in the hall. Wait, waiting. Ugh. Thanks, everyone. We didn't come back for your spiky-headed ass. I came back for Marlene. Guess it's just my feelings or something. I, uh, I ain't got no words now. Although she's not here, she left us a window of opportunity. We can't let it go like this. Aerith. She was smiling at the end. We can't just let it end with that smile. We have to do something. Let's all go together. Memories of Aerith. Although she should have returned to the planet by now, something stopped her and now she's stuck. We've got to let go of Aerith's memory. Has anyone here changed their mind? I'm counting on you, Sid. Yeah, yeah. These two lovers have been bugging me for a while. Let me try them out. Alright, so what should I do? You decide, Cloud. This is our last battle. Our target is the North Cave. Our enemy is Sephiroth. So let's move out. Charge! We're almost to the North Cave. We're on our way, Sephiroth. Man, I'm going to stick it to him. What is it, Sid? Ugh. Some incredible force. Losing control. Get the hell out of here, flunkies. Didn't I tell you all to go home? Yes, sir, but this is our home. Oh, man. Stop trying to act so cool. All right, you jokers. Hold me down with everything you got. Geronimo! All right, that was the end of part two. Save the game. 
kind of interesting that in the disc version of the game, there was basically an entire disc dedicated to uh, the finale, I guess. It's a little strange. Take care. Hang on, I'm not ready to go yet. Can I still fly around? I should be able to. So once we drop down, there really isn't much going back. You ever see the play Loveless? No? Yeah, I figured someone like you wouldn't be much on plays. Let's go! All right, guys, well, there's a few loose ends I want to tie up before we go into the finales. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Final Fantasy VII. Not sure how long this episode's going to be. I wanted to acquire some uh, ultimate weapons. I'm not going to get um, clouds, I don't believe, because I have to do quite a few extra bosses in order to get to that. Um, but SIDS is pretty easy to obtain. Whoops. So that's what we're going to do. We have to land in Rocket Town. Go ahead and land here. Should be a guy here that we can talk to. I believe the old man here, if we talk to him a few times, he'll give it up. My, my precious rocket, it's gone. Hmm, I know. No matter how much I look, the rocket's still gone. But I just can't stop it. Just call it an old man's folly, if you will. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's a kind of hobby. But out of uh, appreciation, let me give you this. Now there you go. That's all you have to do to get his weapon. I wish you'd take care of it and use it. And it's based on the amount of MP that he has. So the more maximum MP he's got, uh, the more damage he will do. So I'll respec him later, but I don't want to equip that right now considering we need to be able to, you know, gain more levels for our materia. So, we'll be right back with you. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, now we're going to go and get Vincent's ultimate weapon and level 4 limit break. So we're going to go back over to the waterfall where we went earlier in the game. So we're going to have to go underwater and dive down. At this point in the game, we should be able to just walk right in and pick up his ultimate abilities. Which will be quite nice. Only problem with Vincent's is that when he transforms, he's kind of stuck that way for the rest of the fight. Um, so it may not be useful against the final battles. But it can do a lot of damage. And his ultimate weapon is actually defined based on the amount of enemies he's killed throughout the game. So the more enemies you kill with Vincent, the stronger his ultimate weapon will be. Oops. Yeah, I've, I had a hard time landing here. Come on now. Ah, there we go. Had to do it over there. So we're just going to go back behind the waterfall. We've got Vincent in the party. Lucrecia. All right, got the death penalty and chaos. And that's about all there is to that.